Okay, the types of uh, development methods. Um, still using the uh, the software development life cycle. Um, the uh, different phases. Um, and as I mentioned before, my favorite, uh, the one that I will promote, um, the waterfall method. Uh, as I say, water does not run uphill. Um, so you, you finish each stage before you go on. You don't go back. Um, you finish the idea. Once you finish the idea in the initiation phase and the conceptual phase, when you jump down to the requirements phase, uh, then you don't go back and change the idea, even if you run into problems. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, it's, it's problems where people run into problems with this. Um, it's, it's difficult. You've got to put in the work. You've got to make sure that you do do what, uh, you know, get the, get the idea right. Then get the requirements right. Um, and, and when you're starting out, um, that is going to be difficult. Uh, that is going to take time. So, uh, you know, this is... This is not for beginners, uh, unfortunately, but it is the best way. It is the way to do it. And uh, you know, when, you, when you do the others, uh, that's when you start to run into problems. Um, and the, the others you know, basically all come under the category of iterative development. Uh, you repeat. You know, that's what iterate means. Um, you, uh, you do the idea, you do the conceptual phase, uh, you get into requirements, you run into problems. Oh, let's go back and change the idea. And then you, you get back down, and, you know, finish off the requirements, uh, and uh, get into design, and oops, you know, we got a problem with the design here, we got to go back and change the requirements. And sometimes changing the requirements means we have to change the design. Uh, sorry, uh, the, the actual idea. Um, and so we've got a, a bunch of, uh, you know, back and forth steps in, in all of these things. Um, now, I mean, there are uh, supposed benefits to this. For example, you've got joint analysis development and in in that it's very heavily involved with feedback from the users but you can do that you know if you do the conceptual phase first if you you know uh talk to the users in the conceptual phase get what it is that they want and why uh and you know get them to dig a little bit deeper um in Instead of just, you know, presenting them with an idea and saying, oh, does this fit? And they say, yeah, you know, and then you start running into problems. Um, there's, uh, well, you know, prototyping is another iterative model. You know, okay, let's throw together a prototype. Uh, okay, it doesn't work. Uh, let's throw together another prototype. Um, you know, so we're, we're into implementation already and we, you know, seriously messed up our idea. Uh, so our conceptual phase really isn't finished yet, and we're already into implementation. Um, rapid application development, and, and this is, uh, you know, this is partly prototyping, this is uh, partly into, you know, as I say, agile, that everybody is heading towards these days. And uh, so uh, you're... Uh, you're supposedly doing it quickly but uh you know this this way lies the death march you know hurrying through the concept hurrying through the requirements hurrying through the design and getting into the implementation means you know you're oh we we implement it we start to test it oh it didn't work um we've got to do something else and back and forth and back and forth 
and uh, you know this is where you get into these months long development cycles um, it really is the case that using the waterfall method doing putting the work in up front does in fact lead to faster overall development you you do it properly it it works better in the end um, the uh, the exploratory model uh, well I mean you know you're you're developing the idea while you are implementing um, so you've got a you know whole range of activities that you're doing planning the concept developing the requirements doing the design at the same time that you're uh, doing the implementation and some testing uh, to explore what you're doing <laughs> the exploratory method is, is really just another name for not knowing what you're doing uh, so uh, you know trying to ensure that we do do things properly that we do um, uh, you know learn some lessons you know yeah okay you're going to be doing the exploratory method hopefully on simple tasks early in your career um, but let's do it now the the one form um, that I uh, do appreciate in the iterative development methods is the spiral model um, the spiral model uh, really it's it's the waterfall model you you are not going back between major phases but each major phase is subdivided into um the four uh well plan do check act uh, uh deeming um phases and so you you know when you are doing the concept you plan you know let's let's plan what we're doing in developing this idea and developing this concept uh, uh, let's do it let's let's develop the idea let's check the idea let's go to the users see if they agree that this is the idea that they want and then act then commit it to an actual concept to an actual idea so that we initiate the project properly and there's that check phase at every every stage you know plan the requirements do the requirements check the requirements and then commit the requirements act on it um, at every stage you've got that check and you've got to ask the question pretty much every time you know if we start to run into too many problems there is that question should we just forget the whole thing and so many so many projects would really benefit from somebody asking that question.